But like some people don't like lengthy videos and that's me. But sometimes I can watch people just do their hair. So I don't know. Y'all tell me how y'all like, like what y'all like so I can like accommodate to what y'all want. You know what I'm saying? Cause I am doing this for y'all. <laughs> What's good? What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Lolly G, or Lolly the G, whatever you want to call me. And in today's video, it's all about my hair journey. So basically, I'm starting a new series on my channel, which is called Road to Healthy Curls. So I'm basically going to be taking you guys on the journey with me to get my curls as healthy as possible. So yeah, so um, I'm going to be dedicating these videos to healthy hair so for example in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I detangle my hair in other videos I'll be showing you how I wash my hair or what I do before I wash my hair or how I dip condition and so on so on so on so you guys are gonna be on a journey with me getting my curls as healthy as possible and I also will be giving you tips and tricks and probably things you didn't know before watching my video or you might have known before or you could be helping me out by leaving things in the comments you know helpful tips and tricks that I don't do that I should do so yeah so this is all a journey and you guys are all gonna be riding along on this journey with me so yeah let's hop right into the video okay so some of y'all probably like why you about to wash your hair I'm trying to wash my hair every week so I can get my moisture level to its highest potential because it's not there yet. Like my hair be so dry a lot of times and I haven't really been deep conditioning. I'm gonna keep it 100. I don't even be deep conditioned like that. So I have tried to since I've been home. Like when I'm in school, I just put the conditioner in my hair, leave it in, and then take my shower and then rinse it out. Like those mini deep conditioners. But I usually do it with conditioner if I don't have a deep conditioner. But yeah, so I'm trying to deep condition. I, I did a um I did a apple cider vinegar rinse too and that helped my hair a lot. I'll make a video on that too because that junk really helped my hair. There's tons of videos out there, but you know, why not make a video too? And I the way I did it was kind of different. It wasn't really different, but I mean I just like doing videos dedicated to my hair because it's not many videos out there that um, dedicate to my type of hair like a lot of people don't have as much hair as I do and the type of hair that I have so it's kind of hard when I be trying to find videos and stuff so that's why I like making videos because I know there's other people out there that has the same trouble that I do finding type of hair videos that's dedicated to their hair because everybody don't have the same type of hair and on YouTube even though it's a lot of people on YouTube with different type of hair types and hair porosities and all this stuff or whatever um it's not many people that have super, super thick hair and type the same type of curls as you with color treated hair, you know? So yeah, so I'm here for that and I'm here for the people that like watching my videos and uh, find my videos helpful. So yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is grab my water bottle and I'm just gonna spritz, oops, spray my hair and soften it up. It's already soft, I ain't gonna need a lot of salt. I have to tell y'all about the combo I use on my hair for my wash and go. I have made a video on it, but this was like the old stuff that I was using before I tried the new the new combo that I just recently did. And I was going to upload that wash and go video, but I'm not sure because, yeah, anywho. But I'm just wetting my hair up a little bit so it's easier to manage. And I won't be ripping my hair because I'll be doing it because my hair be really tangly. That's one thing I'm trying to, that's one thing I'm trying to, um, uh, like, prevent is my hair being so tangled, like, it be so tangled. I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see. So, I'm gonna get the spray bottle. I usually just rip my hair out, but I'm not trying to do that no more. So I'm gonna just try to spray and get that. easier that was I don't be having patience but patience you need to have patience with natural hair <laughs> I'm starting to learn that but yeah hopefully it's parted good enough But 
but I try to keep my parts as clean as possible. I try, I try. It'd be so hard because I have so much hair and I can't see what I'm doing for real. But like I found that the cleaner my parts are, the less my uh, roots of my hair will be tangled because like the roots of my hair will be so tangled. Like I would be literally ripping my hair trying to um, separate it. So I kind of find that like the cleaner my parts are, like the less my hair are ripped and stuff. And I can easily, I can detangle it easier. Because like it would be some like you could probably see now. I still have this hair like it's not you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to detangle. I'll be ripping hair out from this section of my hair because I do my hair in sections, and it just be too much. Like I just don't. Oh Lord, I'm trying to tell you. I've been natural. I, I think I've been natural for yeah two two years now maybe. And I'm still trying to learn my hair, y'all. So it takes time, especially if you don't have, like, easy-to-manage hair. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. So I'm going to try to keep some of this stuff in, like, real time so y'all can really see what's going on. But most of it, I'm going to speed it up because it's very repetitive. And I'm not going to show my whole head. I'm not going to show my whole head because... It's going to take a long time. It's just hard because I cannot see. Like, my hair is so thick. I cannot see the part. All right, this is just going to be it. I'm going to wet this some more. You want to try to use warm water, though, when you're spraying on your hair. And, like, um, uh, when you're about to detangle and stuff. Because warm water will penetrate in your hair faster than cold water or room temperature water. And especially if you have um low porosity hair like i do water just sits on top of your hair so warm water will help get the water in there in your hair strands faster okay so this is another important part so i try to keep my parts slash sections horizontal and not like just grabbing some hair because that's how i create more um tangles in my roots so i'm gonna like put my finger like this and go straight across if i can now it's gonna be hard. So I'm trying to like get this. Okay. Okay. But yeah, if y'all can see that, hopefully. And I'm gonna put this section up. Okay, so then I'm gonna just spray more water. I'm just first I wanna get like the big tangles out, so I'm gonna just you know separate like you know how I get tangled at the roots and stuff. And you have those big knots. And like, I don't know, I this combo I use my hair is still soft and it's easy to manage for some reason, y'all. I swear the last I was using wet line extreme, y'all, gel before. And I was loving that gel, but it didn't make my hair too dry. Oh, I'm taking this brush. This is the easy detangler. Sorry I got hair on it. I just, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna take that first. But yeah, the wet line was making my hair super dry. I was not feeling it. So I, I ain't gonna tell y'all what I've been using now yet until I make the video. But you just wanna detangle, start at the ends, and just work your way up. Okay. Okay, so now that I kinda got most of that detangled, right? I'm going to take my tangle teaser, and you can see the teeth are different on this brush, but I like this brush, but since I, ju I just ordered this, I actually ordered that brush like two freaking months ago, the other brush, and it just got here like last week or something, so, and I've been using this brush, but I find that the other brush gets my, tang my tangles out better than this, like when I use this brush, it'll feel like my hair is detangled, 
like it'll go through smoothly and stuff but like i run my fingers through it and it still be tangles in my hair and i don't know but i like to go back i like to use this brush to go over my hair after i detangled it and make sure i get the roots and stuff so you want to make sure you feel that the bristle brushes on your scalp that's how you know you're getting the roots and you want to get under there too you just want to brush until it feels detangled okay and my curls popping <laughs> well kind of but that's because it still got gel on it and the product and usually i use a pre-poo but i just don't feel like that's necessary right now no more because my hair not super dry you know what i'm saying so now what i'm gonna do is flip this section and twist it Oh, my mom was like, I need to make sure the roots are tight. I'm going to redo this. So spray, try to get it wet. And then I'm going to use my finger. Oh, and do this way. And go straight across. And be gentle. I'm really rough. I ain't going to even lie. I'm rough with my hair, for real. Like, I be yanking. My mom was like, oh my god, it's making me cringe. Like, I can't believe you rip your hair like that. I'm like, bro, it'd be too much. Like, it'd be so hard. But you want to be gentle so it won't rip. I'm trying to be gentler. I swear I'll be yanking it. Okay. Hopefully that's good. If I feel like it's, like, not really straight across, I run my fingers through it. And... Okay. So I'm going to put this section up. Spray bottles, spray, 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 spray. Get them ends too. But yeah, you want to make sure you get the ends good because um that's where like the tangles be at. So you see that hair coming out? Ugh. So I'm gonna take this because I don't it's not really that many big tangles in this section. Take this brush. Um I'll lead a link. To this brush in the description box but that jump took too long but i will leave the link down there but that jump do take too long to um ship and there's a lot of other dupes and stuff out there people say it's a amazon dupe that's really good and um there's some other brushes out there that you'll be seeing like on uh instagram ads. okay i wanted to come up here and show y'all something okay so y'all see when i'm brushing like it's getting stuck right here Okay, so you want to just take your finger and try to find that big tangle. It's like right, it's right here. Yeah, I see that. So I just kind of break that apart. And then hopefully I can run my brush through it. Yep. C, C, C. Also, you want to brush vertically. This gets the best uh, tangles out. This is how you detangle, especially when you're using a brush like this. You want to brush vertically and not, and not horizontally. Horizontally, you... That's how you get your curls to pop. But vertically is how you get the tangles out. And I told mama that. She didn't even know that. But yeah, y'all might not know that either. So just letting y'all know. Okay, so I'm back. And this is the final look. <laughs> I mean, I ain't really no look. But this is my hair de all detangled. I'm showing y'all my roots so y'all can see it. But yeah, so I started at 11.30 and it's now 12.55. So it took me like an hour and some change and that's good. Usually I'll start really, really late. Usually it take me longer though because my hair will be way more tangled. But yeah, let me show you how much hair I got. Okay, y'all. So this was all the hair that came out of my head, which is crazy. Like this is nothing. This is literally nothing. I hope all the shade of hair is out of my head. We're going to see when I wash it if it's like still some strands in there. But this is literally all of the hair, y'all. I'll insert a clip right here to show y'all what, um, how much hair came out of my hair the other day when I wash, when I detangle my hair, and I think I detangled it after a week or so. Like I don't know, like I had literally just detangled. I don't know, it was something crazy. But anyway, it's gonna be a comparison right here of this hair and this dab on hair. Like for real, y'all. Come on now. So I'm getting better at this 
Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I literally have two big freaking hairballs in my hand from my head. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, so if you're wondering how I'll be going to sleep like this, because my hair is kind of wet and whatever. So, I take my ponytail holder and just put it in a ponytail. Like this. Ugh, it's so jelly and producty. <laughs> that ain't, that's not even words, but whatever. Yeah, I just put it in a ponytail. And then, because my hair is wet and like with a lot of gel and stuff, I just put a shower cap on and go to sleep. Because I don't want my pillowcases to be messed up. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned anything that you guys didn't know. And yeah, I'll be back again with more videos and I'm going to be continuing this series. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you know what to do. Tell your mama them, tell your daddy them, tell your cousin them, your auntie them, all them about me. Because if they're not following me or subscribe to me, what is you? doing what is they doing and don't forget to follow me on instagram i'm gonna put that right there and yeah i'll catch you guys on the flip side peace